on the actual main lines. I think they should ought to make it, I've preferred rail, which means it's diesel and electric units, so it's the electric rails on the, um, on the, the, tr the overhead system for some other reason. I mean, they got a, the backup of the diesel engine in it, so, you know, you have to think about these old or new possibilities of the ideal tracks. So, I think third row is the way to go down here in due time as a hybrid of the, the main lines. At least until the electrics get pretty better so we can able to have um, proper for electrics. I mean, third row will be the starting point, I think, and then work around full electrics later on. In my opinion, that is. But... I've been into trains since I was really tiny. I mean, I would have gone back to probably 1997 when I first got into trains, which wasn't model trains, this was toy trains when I was factory operated and someone had a little steam tunnel on the side of the chimney and it was just pouring out a little, little red sort of steam vapour and it was just really quite cool when I was young. <laughs> so I looked back on it thinking how. How enjoyable I was with it when I was young, but that's what I do miss as a kid. I guess when I did like have the odd thing when I was young, the Thompsons and playing the old Thompsons of tank train sets in plastic with the back drop rated stuff. And another thing I used to quite enjoy, but you know, it's a gimmick now. It's um, the old tape recorders. And you used to play the music through the tape, and you have to rewind to go through the whole music system again. Uh, some memories that you don't let go. <laughs> it was a fun time. You know, they were a bit annoying at times, the tape recorders. <laughs> and the um, CD players and the, the, the CD ROMs and all that. The retro type CD ROMs that was. And we, my mum, well, us three, through our time when we used to live in a place like Cambridge, the first computer we had was Windows 98, and that stuff is slow. We had Fred on it, we had Chucky Egg, we had um, a bunch of old games on it. Even um, the high school one, which I can't remember the name of. And I think it lasted only about two years, and we had to replace it because it died. <coughs> it wasn't the best computer, that one. And we had Windows Vista. I think by that point we started to have um, music going on to it. And things went wrong with that one as well. <laughs> it didn't take us quick, but yeah, the trouble is, these old computer systems, when they were brand new and they thought they were quite good at, well, it's great in, on picture, but in person, <laughs> in practice, it's actually quite difficult trying to leave, leave a computer untouched, especially when they had me around. <laughs> And that's when I was really, um, yeah. to say the least, I was very much into me too when I was a kid. But now, I'm very much relaxed and I not, don't cause trouble in. <laughs> I used to be a troublemaker to try to make things crash or some reason I was cause, always used to cause, cause the virus on computers when I was young. <laughs> I'm not going to say why, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, memories, funny memories. I wouldn't do it now because obviously I've got a Windows um, computer now. But it's a, re it's a rebuilt computer from eBay and it's a pretty cool computer. It's only cost me 200 quid. Um, yeah, it's a rebuilt model, so pretty cool. Um, and the first one I got, yeah, started facing the five months. <laughs> um, but now, obviously, the second one I've got now, it's lasts me a whole lot longer. So, yeah, it's done a whole lot better. But I'm getting better than my um, things about computers and all that. I am getting better than them, which I need to. I'm not prone to cause viruses on my computers anymore, which is good. But 
Occasionally, I get close. But I'm fortunate enough I don't really run out of my way to do it. Because that's when I used to be a friend when I was young. So, that's why I like, don't let your kids, especially young males when they've got full of hormones, don't ever want to go on the computer, especially when you're not around, because you don't know what they could be up to. <laughs> They'd be looking at porn at the age of 18. <laughs> oh dear. Crazy times. Oh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that anymore. <laughs> I, I kind of enjoy it. I'm glad I don't really do that anymore, to be honest. I'm really glad I don't. <laughs> oh, my mum used to get me annoyed get annoyed to me so often when I was used to do that a lot. She used to get so wound up. And my uncle, which, you know, to be fair, he was quite good with the computer, but you can see how often, how regularly he would um, come over, fix the computer, and it'd be a month later and you guarantee another, <laughs> another one thing will happen. And you always knew why, because it was me. But, you know, as I said, that was a long time ago. And now I just completely, completely changed in that sense. I just, you know, keep it chilled. I watch YouTube on my computer. I just chill out and upload YouTube videos and stuff like that. Internet was very new to me back then. So, you know, we get excited when the first internet comes in. We just, we didn't have internet to first really start with, but... As time gone on, we did have internet, and it's like, eh, it's okay. Flicked on YouTube, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> it's crazy. And then, obviously, I started noticing things like Twitter and Facebook suddenly popped up, and I was like, mm. Facebook. I wasn't, I'm never a big fan of Facebook. And the amount of issues I've been having over the last two or three years with them. I suppose they do on both trying to keep me out of it, but it's because... There's different opinions on base, but with people with different mindsets of things like politics related, and yeah. Um, so that meant things to me like I don't tend to listen to that. I do read the newspaper like The Sun. The Sun? Is it The Sun? Yeah, The Sun newspaper. I tend to get it every other week. And I do read stuff like that, but obviously I don't read everything and I don't take it for you. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't take it literally to everything I see on the newspaper because if you start thinking like that and get delusional and brainwashed so <laughs> I don't want to be brainwashed by that but I do read things articles on it and I do like looking at particular articles on newspapers they do interest me um, but yeah I do obviously I think there's different points and that's obviously got a quite good reputation on some parts on it but some parts are like yeah you sort of flick for it yep like that one guys you need to flick the page I definitely like that one flip the page very quickly <laughs> it's sort of thing that, like, I expect a lot of people do it's not because me I expect but probably for a few uh, getting distracted um Right, low battery, oh, the low battery because the plug came out, there we go, there we go, just need to plug it in, <laughs> right, okay, um, as I said, we need to concentrate on this today, we're going to do some scenery, and what we'll do Towards the end of the video, we'll uh, focus on running maybe a little bit of locos and we'll put a bit of the roof, shed roof stuff down for the track. Excuse me. Um, and I will focus on other little bits of the layout as well. Also, note so, this box is heavy because there's a mouse, hasn't half a dozen stones in this box. Obviously, it wouldn't be as heavy as it originally was, but. I think and imagine in due time, when that time comes when I've got to sort everything out again to already move my favourite, hopefully I'll find my favourite place in Bodmin in due time. Um, obviously this box will be extremely heavy with stones by that point I suppose. 
Um, so there will be a bunch of stones in this box, I expect. And, um, which is going to be handy for me, for me for, obviously, I bought all the stones that were from home base a month or two ago. Um, which cost me about 10, 15 quid because obviously it was a big pack. Um, half of it's in the box, half of it's on the lao. Um, so yeah, all this will be basically a big pile in this box by that time. And obviously with the, the Shebrew stuff will be picked up and put on that board in due time. The grass, well, the houses will come with me, I expect, in that time. And the stations and the tracks, obviously the track will be needed. The controls, the trains, yeah, all the essential bits to me will be coming with me. <laughs> I'm not leaving all this behind, quite good. The amount of hours and work I put into this and then completely just avoid it when I move. It's not something I will do. I've done this hour work, I can dismantle it and take it to my new place and then just to take it a little side because obviously it being a smaller board it wouldn't take me as long. But it's took me so far doing this this level and then how far I've already got. It's taken me the best part of four, four to five months already. And it's gonna take me another four or five months probably to just get another next just get another bit done because it's gonna this layout is big. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to work with sections of it. So right now what I'm gonna aim to do in this two hour video is to get near the house where the shop is and the flats are. There will be a section there will be just full of gravel and a little bit of, you know, patchy grass and some trees just to be around it. And maybe I'll make a little fake pond, not a big one, but just a little one to be in the ring type and just to be on a little spout and it sits on top of that spout with a little bowl and you know it could look quite cool. Like, it's really it's a bird bath type but I think most definitely we could end up having a quite cool layout. But if someone asked me looking for a table like this for your layout, if you're buying one from eBay, which I did with this one, um, cost me about six to seven hundred pounds when I bought this contents table from eBay, and oh my gosh, it's bloody heavy. <laughs> my mum and my granddad, who put this table here, helped me put it off from the track that was up the lane from us. He came down halfway down the lane, and um, he came with it with the main centre section, which is probably weighs about half about putting about four four lorries on top of each other it's that heavy um so yeah and the, the little side panels with the um the corners these were light in the palace in the main center and this is full of oak wood it's completely full of oak there's no fake wood it's completely oak table it's a constant table it used to be for an office and it cost me 600 quid just to buy the thing and it cost me, I can't remember what the cost was, I think it was 100 or 200 pound or something for postage because of how much it cost and how much it weighed. So the way it was huge, this strong chat came down country with it and lifted it in, didn't bring some lotus. <laughs> he was a strong fellow. But that's the sort of thing you need when he brings a contents table like this to you. Make sure you've got a big garage to put it in and make sure you put it in the, the centre of the, the garage at least you've got room to walk around it and you can design it as you want it. If you put it sideways you won't get anywhere pretty much because your house is constantly go on one side and half the around the other side again. <laughs> so yeah, that's in my advice but you know, everyone's different. My, <coughs> just had my swig of my J to row. So, right, the next bit I'm going to be doing then is going over there. I'm going to grab the camera, or probably just try to film it over there if we can. So where that green house, where the pink house is, which I pink, pink. Um, so that section over there is now going to be stoned. Just grab a couple of handfuls of stone, and then walk around there without actually dropping on the floor because that's. 
kind of what I do. <laughs> I know I talk a lot in my videos. Some of you guys like me talking a lot in my videos, others not so much. 